morning youtubers excuse the traffic noise in the background and I want to show you something really daft there's this guttering on the garage and it comes down and it goes into the water butt there's no overflow for the water butt so what happens is it overflows over the top down here and it's created damp in the garage because the garage is actually lower than the soil level so when it pours a rain it comes here fills the water butt up overflows and goes straight into the ground level of the garage so what I've done is I've separated these slabs here can you see it there that's the cable for the water feature we've got so it's uh, quite insulated and I've slid these slabs this way so what I'm going to do well I've actually put this outlet here I'm going to run the outlet down and have a pipe running all the way and I'm going to have a soak away at the end here in some gravel to get rid of the excess water rather than it uh, trying to get through the um, the garage so that's what I'm going to do today okay that's the overflow fitted it's not the neatest of jobs but to be honest it's it's quite difficult to to do and uh, got an overflow now the overflow runs over down there down there down there down there into the hedge and there's a soak away I've made there with stones and slate and all sorts of stuff I've just got to move the water put over very very slightly and uh, that way and uh, I'll do that with the spade give it a shove with all these concrete slabs another little job I've been working on is this bird table and uh, it was left in the garden and the top was rotten and uh, there's plenty of scrap wood in the actual garage so I've put a top on it now so we can put bird food on hopefully attract some birds I had some old trim laying around which I've been using as well this stuff it seems to be uh, gluing okay and uh, it's a bit rough and ready but at the end of the day it's just for birds okay that's the uh, bird table finished as much as I'm going to do and uh, it's just scrap wood the top had rotted away and um, I just used any old wood I had lying around made the top the base is the original what I'm going to do this bit here I'm going to tie a brick under there to give it a bit of weight at the bottom because they tend to blow over in the wind so that's it looks quite good considering it's all odds and sods bits of wood left over none of it's treated but um, we'll see how we go on okay it's a bit cool in the garage and uh, I've got the old vintage Ecken heat again look at that it's a paraffin heater I don't know how old it is I bought it quite reasonably priced off of eBay as I collect sort of vintage stoves as a bit of a hobby anyway what I've come to talk about is today is talk about this clock out the motorhome it's not a watch but it uses watch batteries and I bought it so that I could look at the time because there's no clock on the dashboard anywhere but there is further back in the van so when I'm driving I need to know the time and it runs from um, watch batteries and the issue with that is that when the batteries get cold it stops working so what I've done I've took it apart and I've soldered some wires inside and I've made this um, battery holder and uh, it's a bit of uh, plumbing pipe with a bung in the end and it's a double A battery in there that's running it and uh, hopefully those batteries stand the cold better than a watch battery because just going through what a watch battery is it's a small battery a bit like a button cell and um, normally you've got your watch in your house so it's sort of 
room temperature and when you're wearing it it's at body temperature the battery but if you imagine you get that watch and you put it in a cold motor and in storage or overnight where it's cold the battery's going to die so this is my modification and I'm going to fit that back in the motorhome so thanks for watching this video please subscribe and like